Commander Fujita Mitsuo led 36 D3A2 dive bombers, 53 B5N2 torpedo bombers, escorted by 36 Mitsubishi A6N0 fighters at 8 a.m. to attack onto the British naval base in Colombo. Before noon, the Japanese had carried out their dive bombings, and the Hermes was sunk along with its escort the Vampire. It's March 9, 1942. After the fall of the Dutch East Indies, Malaya, Singapore, Philippines and Burma, the Japanese had already achieved their initial objectives of the war. Now Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto is planning to test the strength of the Allies, outside of the Pacific, with a deadly Pearl Harbor-style attack in the island of Ceylon, and the coast of India. Japanese Navy is preparing for a two-prong offensive into the Indian Ocean. Codenamed Operation C. It was decided that Vice Admiral Jisaburo Ots was Malaya Force. The second expeditionary fleet would attack different ports of India. While the core fleet of the Japanese Navy, the Kido Butai, was assigned to attack the Ceylon, the modern day Sri Lanka, to finish the British Eastern Fleet once and for all. On March 19, the Japanese stationed reconnaissance submarines outside of the known British anchorages at Colombo and Trincomalee their effectiveness was limited. At least one submarine was sent to scout the Maldive Islands to find Port Eta du Atoll, the secret naval base of Britain. The submarine searched for the British naval base for a few days but failed to detect it. Later on that day a small force of the Japanese Navy called the Hayashi Unit carried out naval operation in the Andaman Islands in order to set the stage for the invasion. The Japanese departed Penang Island on March 20, moving towards Port Blair, the main British base on the Andaman Islands. A small unit of around 300 Indian soldiers was defending the port. On March 23, the Japanese attacked on the Port Blair, Ross Island and the Snake Island. Being unable to fight against a powerful enemy unit, the Port Blair garrison surrendered immediately. By March 27 and successfully placing the Andaman Islands under firm Japanese control. Thus, Operation C was scheduled to start on April 1st. In the spring of 1942, the Allied Navy was suffering from heavy loss in the Battle of Malaya in Singapore, and the remaining British ships in the East Indies had been sunk at the battles of the Java Sea. Then Vice Admiral James Somerville was assigned with three aircraft carriers, five battleships, seven cruisers, 16 destroyers and seven submarines at the naval base of Trincomalee. This port was easy to spy for the Japanese, so Somerville immediately decided to move to the secret island base on the Adu Atoll, a small Korla island in southern part of modern-day Maldives. He also divided his fleet into two groups, with a faster force aid built around the carriers Formidable and Indomitable, as well as the modernized flagship battleship Warspite, while the slower Force B was formed by the old carrier Hermes, and four old Revenge-class battleships as its main warships. Though the British fleets was large in number, it mostly consisted of slow and obsolete vessels. Only Warspite had been modernized and was capable of the speed and endurance needed for the long-term operations. Vice Admiral Somerville's aircraft carriers consisted of only 39 fighters and 57 struck aircraft. For the defense of Ceylon the Royal Air Force reinforced the island with additional 136 aircraft to counter the expected carrier-borne air attack. On March 26 the same day that Somerville arrived at Ceylon, Operation C was scheduled to begin, and the strong carrier task force of Admiral Nagumo departed staring Bai Bay towards the Indian Ocean. Meanwhile Somerville sailed on March 30 and deployed his fleet to patrol in an area 100 miles south of Ceylon where the Japanese force were expected to approach. He kept his forces on full alert, in search of the invading force, but there was nothing in the horizon. During the next two days Somerville searched for the Japanese fleet, still awaiting reports from the reconnaissance aircraft, yet there was no clue of the Japanese fleet. In the meantime Vice Admiral Ozawa's strike force also departed Mergi on April 1st, heading towards the Bay of Bengal. On the evening of April 2, Somerville finally decided to return to Adu Atoll with his fleet to refuel, after unsuccessfully looking for the Japanese fleet. The cruisers Cornwall and Dorsetshire were sent to Colombo. 
and the carrier Hermes was sent with the destroyer Vampire to Trincomalee to prepare for an attack on Madagascar. Somerville's fleet returned to Adu Atoll on April 4, the same day that the Japanese force was discovered by a British Catalina PBY flying boat 400 miles southeast of Ceylon. In response, Nagumo quickly launched 18 fighters to hunt it down. However the British have already got the news about the arrival of the Japanese fleet. Admiral Somerville expected to face a comparatively small enemy force, and he thought that the Force B was able to defeat them easily. Commander-in-Chief sent Dorsetshire and Cornwall south to meet Somerville and the Hermes Northeast, to escape with the other ships from the Trincomalee Harbour. On April 5, Nagumo launched his planes early in the morning. Commander Fuchida Mitsuo led 36 D3A2 dive bombers, 53 B5 and 2 torpedo bombers, escorted by 36 Mitsubishi A6M0 fighters at 8 a.m. to attack onto the British naval base at Colombo. Huge flock of Japanese bomber planes appeared over devastating the port facilities. The small numbers of Allied fighters on Ceylon tried to fight back but their enemy force was too powerful to fight against. At 10.45 am Commander Fujita sent the order to commence the attack and a fierce battle immediately broke out between the Japanese fighters and the British fighters that came to face them. The British lost 16 Hurricane, 4 Ferry Fulmers and 5 Swordfishes while the Japanese lost only 7 planes. At 11.30 am, the Cornwall and Dorset were spotted by a Japanese aircraft 200 miles southwest of Ceylon. After two hours 54 dive and torpedo bombers and 18 Zero fighters led by Lieutenant Commander Takashi Jagusa, were launched to attack on the British ships. Within just half an hour both ships were sunk into the sea. HMS Dorsetshire was sunk at 1350 hours, killing 234 sailors and Cornwall at 14 hours, killing 190 sailors. Another 1122 lives were rescued from both ships. The Japanese admiral now decided to pull back in a southeastern direction to then sail north and assault the port of Trincomalee while his reconnaissance plane searched for the bulk of the Eastern Fleet. In the meantime Somerville feared that the Japanese would attack the Maldives Islands next. So he returned back to the Adu Atoll on April 6 after, unsuccessfully looking for the enemy force. On the other hand Vice Admiral Izawa then decided to commence his operations on the Bay of Bengal. But after frequent airborne attacks his force could sank only couple of marching ships. So Admiral Izawa split his force into three groups, creating a northern group commanded by Rear Admiral Takeo Kurita, consisting of cruisers Kamano and Sazai. The center group commanded by Vice Admiral Ozawa himself, consisting of aircraft carrier Ryujo, cruisers Chakai and Yur. And finally the southern group commanded by Captain Shakao Sakiyama, consisting of cruisers Megami and Makuma. For the purposes of Smuller's raids against marching shipping, this tactics was proved successful. The five days of subsequent airborne attacks successfully sank there over more than 20 ships, and around 100,000 tons of shipping before returning to port without a single loss. On April 8, after finding no trace of the Eastern Fleet Admiral Nagumo prepared to attack Trincomalee. Just like his previous attack on Colombo, his force was discovered by a PBY and the British were alerted. At dawn on the next day, the attack commenced with the lift-off of 91 bombers and 38 zeros, and the order of Commander Fuchida to start the assault at 10.20 hours. The bombers immediately bombed upon the port, while the zeros engaged with 17 hurricanes and 6 foamers. As a result, the ships in the harbour suffered serious damages along with other facilities in the port. And the British also suffered the loss of 10 aircrafts while they could only shoot down 3 zeros. Furthermore, while the carrier Hermes was 65 miles away, 9 Blenheims were launched from Colombo to counter-attack against the Japanese. The bombers unloaded their bombs over the Akagi. But they missed their target and were then engaged by the patrolling zeros. During the air combat, the Japanese fighters shot down five of the bombers while also losing one themselves. But Nagumo had now discovered the position of the Hermes. And so he sent 85 D3A bombers and 9 zeros to destroy the British carrier. Before noon, the Japanese had carried out their dive bombings, and the Hermes was sunk along with its escort the Vampire. Without a break the bombers then attack nearby ships. 
and four more vessels were sunk, to the loss of only four bombers and a zero. With his attack on Trincomalee over, Nagumo then turned to the east reaching Malaya by April 13. Once again, Nagumo's carrier aircraft had shown how deadly they were, with Churchill later writing that this was the most dangerous moment of the war. He was faced with a seemingly unstoppable Japanese advance that could yet engulf India, and the Western Indian Ocean War remained in the balance, and the Royal Navy was being stretched to breaking point across at least four major theaters. Though the Japanese Navy couldn't achieve their main objective of finishing off the British Eastern Fleet, but still they made the British feeling insecure, with Somerville sending four speed to East Africa, since he thought these older vessels didn't stand a chance against the superior Japanese firepower. Thus, the Indian Ocean raid was over.